Hey guys, it's really good to be with you. I'm going to start the video. If you're watching this right now, there should be a picture that I took of two devices that I use on a on a very like a frequent basis. I believe on the left-hand side, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, is the Z11 Pro Max and I think on the right it could be the Z10. Now, if I'm wrong, since I'm recording without looking at the picture, just flip those. Now, the reason I'm showing you this video is because um, I wanted to show you what the devices look like when there's a thumb drive in the side of it. As we begin our journey on learning how to record on each one of these devices, uh, it was um, really inspired to, for me to do this. The inspiration came from people just struggling and maybe struggling a little more than they should. And I'm going to go through step by step by putting together, hopefully, a pretty good video for you to follow so you can start recording and watching what you like using these great devices. So without any further ado, let's jump in. See you inside. All right, guys, we're going to get right into this video. I don't want to waste any time. As always, thank you for the thumbs up. If you consider liking this video in its entirety, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me with the algorithm of YouTube. Now, what I wanna do is the first thing we have to do is format and set up the drive for recording. Now, I'm gonna start on the uh, Z10. This is the Formula Z10, and I've already installed or a uh, an, an extended uh, thumb drive, if you will. So we need to go ahead and set it up, format it, um, and, and make sure it's set up to be used for recording. Then after this one, I will switch over to a Z11 Pro Max, and I'll show you what that looks like to format that drive. Now, to format the drive, you have two different options. You can go to an external option, but Formula makes it very easy, and I thought we'd start with easy. Easy is better. What you want to do is go down to settings, highlight that, press OK. The next thing you want to do is go down to device preferences, make sure that's highlighted, and press the OK button. The next thing you want to do is go down to storage right here, highlight that, press, it, press the OK button. It's going to tell you what the, the internal shared storage is. I have 5.4 out of 8 gigs. And then you can see my brand new total space of 62 gigs. What I'm going to do is highlight that and press OK. And then I'm going to erase what's on here and, as a, and format it as a removable storage. When I do this, you're going to get this. And I'm going to format the drive. So giving it a moment to format the drive, let it finish. And then we'll go to the next step. You can see that it's formatted. What I want you to do is press the home button to go to the home page. The next thing we want to do is we got to go into My TV Online 2. And then we have to go into the settings of this app to make sure it's formatted so you can record. Let's do that now. Let's enter My TV Online 2. I'm going to press the menu button. I'm going to go down to settings and press the OK button. Then you're going to go down. I think it's DVR or options. Highlight that, press OK. You're going to turn on time shift. You're going to make sure that this storage location is good. So we're going to select that. Make sure if there's no line going through it, like a black line, that means it's not um, readable. So if you see that there's no black line and you're able to click on it and save it to time shift or to record, you have thoroughly formatted your drive. So you now can go to the home page and I'll go over the next instructions in the next part of the video. Let's do the um, Formula Z. All right, guys, I have switched over to the Formula Z11 Pro Max. If I made a mistake in saying it was the Z11 Pro previously, I apologize. Let's get right into it. Uh, I've already formatted this, but the steps are the same you have to get into settings. Now you'll notice that the launcher screen is a lot different than it is on the uh, uh, Formula Z10 on the My TV uh, Online uh, version two. We're gonna go up to home, over the apps, over the notifications, over to the settings wheel. We're gonna press the OK button again. We're gonna go down to device preferences, press OK. We're gonna go down to storage and press OK. And as you can see, my storage is already there. 
I've already erased and formatted my storage. I would do the same thing here if it was not already set up. Now, to check that it's set up, let's go ahead and go into My TV Online 3 and see what we can find here. So let's go do that now. What we're going to do is go over to My TV. All right, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go into My TV Online 3. Here we are right here. We're going to go to Menu. We're going to do the same thing. Go to Content. No, go to Settings. Press OK. Then you're going to go back down to DVR Options. Highlight that. Press OK. You can see that there is no, it's, it's set up. There is no black line through that. There's no other black line through the storage. I'm going to make sure it's there. We're going to make sure it's there. That is how you format and set up. It's the same steps. It just looks a little bit different because it's my TV online three, but the application settings are the same on both versions. As I go to the homepage, the next thing we're going to do in the next step is we're going to go into the scheduler and the EPG to set up for recording. Let's do that now. All right, since I ended on with the Formula Z11 Pro Max, I'm going to start with this one on how to set up a recording so it can be done. And then I'll set up a recording to record on the My TV Online 2 and show you guys that at the end of the video. So the next thing you need to do is you have to schedule a recording. And there's a couple of ways to do it, but the best way to do it is to go into what they call the EPG or the Electronic Programming Guide within the application. I'm gonna enter my TV online three and then I'm gonna press the guide. I am in the religious section. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move forward and there's a pregame right here in the religious section. What I'm going to do is press the record button on the remote control like that. It's going to put a red line between 7 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, press the um, OK button here like right here so it's full screen i'm going to go into settings and then go to schedule right here now you can see that the schedule is right there you want to enter the schedule press ok for some options now you're going to get where it says right here manage the recording so we're going to edit it now you can see that this is a pre-game it's it's right before game you want the frequency to be one time. You can see it's 9, 16, 30 minute duration. And it's start time and end time. We can save this. Now, if you purchased a Z11 Pro Max from us or maybe someone else, ours are really, really better than anyone else's anyway. A Z11 Pro Max or a Z11 Pro or Z Mini, those three different devices from Formula are using my TV online version three which gives you the option to record on one channel while watching another. The other one, the Z10 or My TV Online 2, it does not allow you to do that. So the next thing you wanna do is you could set reminders if you like, but it's already set up and it's already been managed. And now you can go and wait for that to start. And once it starts, um, we're gonna let it start. It's gonna give us a, a message saying that it's about to start in the next 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this record. And I'm going to do the same thing on my TV online too. So let's go ahead and get started with that and come back to it. I wanted to show you this. Now what is coming up, it's going to give you this on your Formula Z10 or Formula Z11 Pro Max. You can see where you can run the alarm. You can do whatever you like to do. It's going to start here at uh, 7 o'clock. Um, the alarm is going down. I, I can also cancel the recording. I can get a reminder in the next one minute, uh, next minute. But I wanted you to see what would pop up here um, as we get ready for the recording. We're going to let it go on through. I will make sure I blot out the picture there. I don't want any 
you know, any issues or whatnot. So it's going to go ahead and start here momentarily. And when it does, I'll show you that it started. And then at the end, towards the video, I will show you exactly. Now, you'll also notice at the top right-hand corner, there the recording start right there. And you'll see that there's a top red button at the top right hand corner of my screen that means that i am recording this program so uh let's go ahead and let it finish and then i'll show you on my tv online too and show you all the recordings as they've come up see all right now we're going to switch over to the z10 that uses the application called my tv online too it's been a big favorite until the recent one came out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the electronic programming guide on the Z10 that uses My TV Online 2. To do that, we're going to go here now. And then I'm already in the guide. And you can see that there's a, I'm back in the religious section, but there's life today with. But the next one at 8 o'clock is Bishop Herman. I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to press the record button here. And it should be right here. And then you want to go to live. All right. So it says if you want to go to live or you can cancel the record or you can close. We're going to go ahead and, and, and let it do what it does. And once it's here, what you can do is you can always check it. I think it's almost 8 o'clock. So if I go to live here. Let me see, I'll press this, and then what I'm gonna do is go to schedule, and you can see that Bishop Herman is there. I'll press okay, and there's live TV, 30 minutes, we're gonna save it like we did before, and we're gonna go right back home, and then I'm going to go to the guide again, and we're going to stay right here. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. I'm going to go to the guide. And there we are. And so we're going to wait until this starts. And then I'll come back. And then I'll show you that it's recording. And then I'll let it record so I can show you at the end. All right, guys. I'm going to continue on this journey, if you will. And I thank you guys for being with me. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to record on using like a Z10 or any device like that that has my TV online too. It's a little bit different, so stay with me. But if you do it correctly, you should be able to record on both of these devices and see which one you like the most. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, highlight my TV online too and press the OK button. I am already in um, the EPG or Electronic Programming Guide. I'm in the Weather Channel now. When you get ready to record, you always use the electronic programming guide because then you can use the scheduler and things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, let's see here, if I can find something that is less than an hour or longer. There it is. I'm going to do the edge here, okay? So to do that, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to press the record button. Now you want to do it between five before five minutes before it ends. That way it'll record anytime before that it's not going to record. So now that I have that there, what I'm going to do is go ahead, hit the back button. I'm going to hit the menu button here and I'm going to go to schedule. Now you can see that it's scheduled there. All right. We're going to press OK and we're going to see that it is 917, 30 minutes long. And I'm going to save it here. So now it's saved to do what it does. All right. So I'm going to hit the back button again. And then I'm going to hit the guide button. And you can see, let me make sure it is definitely up there. So I'm going to go here, up here. If I can find it here. There it is. It's right there. Now, when uh, one thing to note, when you're using the, the My TV Online 2, you can only record and watch the same channel. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. So if you're gonna schedule recordings on this, you're gonna make sure that they, they end. So you can't schedule 
you know, this one up here because it's the same time. It has to be at a different time. So if this one goes from 1030 to 11, anything after 11, you can begin to have multiple recordings. Please keep that in mind. What I'm going to do is come back really quick once it starts recording so you can see the messaging that comes up. And then we'll finish by showing you both devices and how they record it. We'll see. Okay, guys, I'm on the Z10, and I just hit to enter uh, the My TV Online 2. I'm going to go down to where it says Recordings and press OK. Today, here are the ones that were recorded. Now, I didn't even know I started the breakthrough with Rod Parsley. As you can see, I'm going to click on it here. I'm not going to play it, but it is going to be right there. It's, it's, it's playing on its own. You can see it started. I'm going to stop the playback for you. You can see it recorded the edge there. And even yesterday, I did recordings of another bishop there for 10 minutes and then another one minute of recording there. So you can see the difference is that once you record, now you can, you can choose to either keep it or get rid of it. So if I hold this down like that, you can see that I can select or go down to one here. I can select it and then I can delete it so you don't have to keep it. But the bottom line is recording is very easy when you know what you're doing. So let's go over really quick to the Z11 Pro Max and take Okay, now we're on the Z11 Pro Max and I've hit the menu button. I'm going to go to recordings. And you can see yesterday, I was able to do two of them. I did September 14th, I did the focus, the religion one on for focus for 30 minutes. And then yesterday, I did a pregame for another 30 minutes. So again, I've proven, hopefully, in this sporadic video, that if you follow the instructions, maybe not for me, um, I'll do my best to put this together, you should be able to record on any one of these devices. The benefit of that is that it gives you the opportunity so if you're missing something or you're about to be out, you can always record it and come back and watch it and do what I'm doing now to get rid of what you don't want. Empty your storage and start all over again. So many people watch TV differently. Maybe you're one that wants to know more or maybe you want something that's already done for you. I would recommend going to our website, theboxman.com. You'll notice on the site, I'll go through it one day here soon. You have good, better, and best, or ultimate. If you're new to streaming, I would definitely choose or look at talking to us about better. If you're, uh, you know, uh, brand, brand new to streaming, you can look at the beginning. That is the Z Mini. Now, all of our devices on that website already have the live TV on it. So it has unlimited live TV and our tech support and our protection plan will cover you for two years on anything that happens to the device. After that, there's always going to be something new. You can upgrade at that time or keep it as the same because it's not going to run out. So you're good to go on that. So if you have any questions about that or going to the website, just text us below. But get you one of these formulas or get you one that uh, records like this should be easy to record on a formula thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video take care guys